Well, tonight, cleanup efforts continue across central Ohio neighborhoods that were impacted by those Wednesday tornadoes. The National Weather Service confirmed an EF2 tornado touched down in western Licking County. Carla Rogner is live in Licking County, where she checked in with people cleaning up after the devastation. Carla? Yeah, you can see the tornado ripped massive trees out of the ground here. There's a house further down this road that has its entire roof ripped off and there is just debris and branches everywhere for neighborhoods in the path of the tornado. It's been a busy few days of cleanup. The aftermath of the tornado has made for a busy last three days for Richard Littler and his team of tree trimmers uh, from daylight to dark, you know, as much as possible. So the more you get done one day, the less you got to do the next, but it just keeps adding on. After more than four decades in this business, Littler has a plan to tackle the trees after storms like this. We hope and pray that everybody's okay first, and then we just take phone calls and then go out and as soon as possible, you know, then try to get trees off of houses or blocking driveways or whatever. The damage from this tornado is some of the worst he's seen. Because it's like one direct line that it went through. With more than a dozen trees knocked down on this property, a yard like this requires teamwork. Well, with the Bobcat, that's the best employee. It goes pretty quick with that thing. So all you got to do is cut it, and then he'll take it to the shipper, and they'll ship it. Anthony at John's Tree Service teaming up with Littler to get the job done. Even so, it's a full day's work. First tree and just go from there. I just keep, you know, cleaning up as you go. Trees across this Black Lake neighborhood have been ripped out of the ground by winds that reached up to 120 miles per hour in Wednesday's tornado. They've filled three truckloads of the wood chipper with trees from just this backyard, and the work continues. We'll work probably all weekend, all in the next week. Actually, we're going to go across the street tomorrow and clean up all that mess. The tree trimmers say much of the wood they're chopping today will be recycled into mulch. I'm told in order for FEMA to, stop, to step in and help people impacted by the storm, at least 25 homes would have had to be destroyed. So at this point, the cleanup falls on homeowners and their insurance companies. Reporting live in Blacklick, Carla Rogner, 10TV News.